watching the bread. Chest of the bread, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chest of the bread. Chest of the bread. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, hurry up. We don't have time for all that. Literally, this is some hot ass tea. Like, I cannot believe stuff like this has happened to me in my lifetime. Like, y'all, I wish these stories were just things that I made up. But, like, it's really too embarrassing for me to just have lived through it and not make a joke about it and make a bag off of it on YouTube. Like, there's just no way. Like, I just can't. As y'all can see by the title, this is a story time of basically a date from hell. I don't know if that's the correct like the literal title because it wasn't a date from hell it was just more like a waste of time and this boy really tried it like like he really tried it he really tried it just a disclaimer i have this skims like kim might as well sponsor me because i have so many skim bralettes like this so if y'all are trying to be funny like oh girl didn't you wear that in your last story time don't 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 do it don't don't do it no baby it's called add two three four to your cart baby this is my favorite bra once i bought it and i got it i bought a couple more and i have a couple in other colors coming so prepare to see me in a brown a nude if she makes a gray baby i'm gonna be in a gray like yeah don't play with me i love me some skims bralettes they hold the girls up so basically this is gonna be the story time of basically when i don't want to give too too much i mean i obviously gave enough in the title and like in the thumbnail but like this is basically where i went on a date with a boy and it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give it was giving very much sassy sassy man apocalypse like i know there's a lot of little memes and stuff saying like we're in a sassy boy apocalypse but like we literally are real bad and we have been for so long like we've been in a sassy boy apocalypse for ages baby like it's never it's never given non-sassy you get what i'm saying not to f the timeline up because a lot of y'all follow my story times and a lot of y'all are curious as to when these things took place i'm 21 years old i am out of school i'm not in college i'm not in high school um this story time happened exactly between january and like january march ish Jan what january february ish of 2019 so this was a little bit after i got cheated on by my ex-boyfriend who almost gave me the clap in another state while he was in another relationship at the same time he was in a relationship with me and if y'all want that story time it is like my first video on this channel so y'all can go find that yeah that story was crazy but let's really get into this story i just want to make a disclaimer that like anytime that i use the word sassy and i'm relating that to men or i'm saying like this dude was acting sassy and stuff like that i'm not implying it in like the most literal terms but for this story time babes it's literal okay it's literal there's the whole trend going around of you know mm, this one's got a little sweetness to it i don't know if y'all seen that tiktok sound but like it's just a joke baby it's a little jokey joke a lot of the boys have their little inside jokes about us as women on tiktok so like let's not even do that okay let's not even make that argument but i'm not make, i'm not meaning this seriously i'm not one of those women who think that men who show emotions and stuff like that makes you feminine or makes you sassy or nothing like that but we are in a sassy man apocalypse we are very much in a sassy man apocalypse and we have been for a very long time especially being from atlanta like i live in atlanta and y'all know atlanta is known for sassy men down low sassy men at that and i've had experience with a down low man which like on his defense or for his defense it wasn't so much down low it was just more so like i was blind okay but yeah so basically this was 2019 meaning i was 18 years old i was really just trying to date around and i was trying to just you know test the waters or whatever because that's the age to do it like i'm still in the age to do it i'm 21 years old i'm still young but like at this time i was single I was ready to mingle. I had just gotten my heart broken. Not really my heart broken because once you do some 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 dirty shit that's like nasty. Once you do something nasty, my heart's not broken, baby. Like, I don't even want you no more. You gave me the ick at this point. Like, baby girl can have you. Baby girl can have you. Um. So, yeah. So, like, I was just in the game. Like, I was not finna, you know, sit on the bench anymore. Like, you did me dirty. I'm finna get back to the streets. Like, baby huh i was f and f and i was just ready to like talk to boys or whatever and um yeah so basically i had seen this boy in my dm we're gonna give him the name i'm gonna call my bestie y'all and see what name i should give 
What's the name I should give the Don Little Boy from my story time? I'm literally doing my story time right now. Blue face? No, I don't want Krishan to beat my ass. I think I'm gonna give him the name Red Face because y'all, I don't want no smoke with Krishan. Y'all know the little jokey jokes about Blueface. I don't know if they're jokes, I don't know if they're for real, but just for my own safety because I know how to tussle, but I don't know if I know how to tussle like Krishan, okay? So we're gonna name him Red Face. Red Face slid in my DM and y'all, I'm not gonna lie, he was one of many in my DM, but at the time, like, I was looking for somebody who stood out and he stood out. He was cute and he also said something unique in my DM. I don't really remember what it was. I think this was around the time that the little like, oh, I threw a football in your DM, throw it back to me type of vibe was given. Like it was given that. And that's when like people were really saying stuff like that. I don't think it was that exactly, but like it was more a unique approach to sliding in my DM rather than all the other dudes that were in my DM at the time. So I was like, mm, okay like you you know you cute or whatever like let me let me dm you back and this boy was 20. now i, I know a lot of y'all are gonna say chessa what's up with you liking these older boys like yeah i was legal i was of legal age and he was 20. it wasn't that much of a difference to me at the time i didn't really like you know realize what's what's with him trying to mess with a younger girl that's still you know about to graduate high school but he's out of high school so why is he not messing with a girl that's out of high school something has to give um but yeah, nonetheless, I thought he was cute and I was like, you know what, whatever. So we started texting or whatever and us texting wasn't, there was nothing really special about the texting. Like we were just texting on some like, hey, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Like it wasn't really nothing special or whatever. Um, but then he started doing little, little stuff that I want to say is sassy. Like again, don't take it literally, but it's just like at the time, this was more what me and my friends, me and my homegirls was doing. It wasn't really what I would see dudes doing, especially as soon as I started texting a new dude. Like, he would do little things like, y'all, I kid you not, this man would literally screen record my following. Like, he would go to my following list, scroll through my following while screen recording, go to the niggas that I'm following, the dudes that I'm following, click on them, go to their pictures, show their likes, tap their likes, go through their likes, and show me that my username is there you did that for what you did that for literally what like he would go through the likes and show me that i'm liking their pictures he would be like oh this is you lol like he wouldn't necessarily say like why are you liking his pictures because we weren't dating and baby we weren't even like considered a thing yet like you hadn't taken me on it you hadn't taken me on a date yet you haven't told me that you're not talking to one of the girls like he was following other girls you following other bitches and liking their pictures, but I can't follow other niggas and like their pictures? Maybe where do we do that at? Like, you're delusional. Literally, I'm going to like every nigga's pictures. If you're still liking bitches' pictures, I'm doing the same tenfold. I know that's right. <laughs> he's sending me this and he's like, oh, this you, LOL. Or he'll put it like a little moon emoji. Like, that's the type of junk that I would do. That's the type of junk I would do to a nigga I'm talking to like heavily. Like, Maybe not even heavily, because at that point, I'd be like, what are you doing, baby? You trying to get ghosted? Because you keep on like this, I'm out of here. I'm one of them girls who considers all of that stuff just disrespectful. Why are you liking bitches' pictures while we talking heavily? And it's supposed to be it's supposed to be some exclusive shit. And then especially in a relationship, yeah, baby, no. I'm out of there. So, yeah, he would send a moon emoji. He would be like, oh, this you, this is what you like. Just stuff like that. And to me and my friends, it was just giving very, like, you're just, you know it's giving sassy like it's sassy we wasn't saying sassy at the time but me and my bitches was like that's strange girl like he's giving it's giving the girls he's one of the girls but yeah i gave him the benefit of the doubt which is a trend in my story times i tend to give people the benefit of the doubt i tend to look past certain red flags or just situations that i don't like normally and i feel like because it was over text and it wasn't so much like him doing weird junk in person i didn't catch the ick from him yet and y'all know, y'all are, most of y'all, if you're not a girl, you have every right to watch this video. But a lot of y'all are girls, because just analytic-wise, I have a lot of girl followers. And a lot of y'all can relate that, like, catching the ick. Once you catch the ick, baby, you're done. You give me the ick, you're finished. Like, there's no more talking between me and you. If I see that booty crack when you getting out the car, you're done. If you fart and it just has a little tang to it too much, you're done. If you got a little crust on your lip before we like really in there together, you're done. Like 
your breath stinks, you're done. Like, there's just certain things that's just unacceptable. You know what I'm saying? Like, those things are only acceptable in the relationship. Once we're comfortable, once we're settled, once I'm in love with you. But, baby, if it's before that, you're out of here. So, I was just like, nah, like... I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe if I go on this date with him, like he kept talking about like, oh, I want to take you out. Like I want to go, let's go out to eat. And I was flagging him a lot of the time because I was just, I wasn't super, super interested in, in him in the way that he was portraying. He was interested in me. So I was just like, you know, waiting it out, continue talking to him, wanting to really get to know him because I had been scarred. A bitch was scarred. Like, I already told y'all what I had just been through right before this. So, I was like, you know what? I really want to get to know this boy before I just go on a date with him. Because I don't want to waste my time. So, um, fast forward a little bit. I end up agreeing to go on a date with him. I'm like, you know what? My homegirls are telling me, like, just give him a chance. Like, y'all, he was cute. He was cute. So, my friends were like, you know what? Just go on a date with him. If he gives you the ick on this date, don't go. Like, I mean, don't go again. You know what I'm saying? Ghost him after that or just let him know, like, y'all are better off as just friends. You're not really feeling his vibe. Like, you know, just nothing can hurt. Go on a date. Mind you, I have my location shared with my friends, all of that. So it was, it was a safe type of vibe. And mind you, he lived in my same area. He had graduated from a school in North Atlanta, which again, red flag. I should have known. He could have been sassy just because of that. But, um, yeah, so basically he had asked me, um, I don't remember where we went. It probably was something like Applebee's. I wasn't a picky bitch at the time. I'm not even a picky bitch now. A bitch loves a good Applebee's. Their little, their little, um, appetizer meal that comes with the mozzarella sticks and the quesadillas and the wings and all of that and the spinach dip baby it be hitting especially after a drunk like after you drunk that'd be a good drunk meal but at the time you know i wasn't really picky about where we went to eat I, you could have took me to mcdonald's baby y'all be weak in the knees stand up stand up you could have took me to mcdonald's which bitch that's sad do better i'm like okay we can go to applebee's like let's go so he picks me up and Y'all, I really should have known something was up, but I just didn't know what. You know what I'm saying? He picks me up, he takes me on a date, and y'all, we went on two dates. This whole story time consists of two dates. So we go on this first date, he's talking to me, like, it's really one of those nervous vibes. Like, on a date, kind of nervous. Um, he's not really acting too nervous, it's more me. Like, I used to be real. I was just more, like, on the reserved side when it came to linking up with a boy for the first time. I wasn't really just, ah, in everybody's face like I am now. But I was just like, you know what, I'ma go. So I was at the date, we was talking, we was chatting, it was cool. Like, it really wasn't no red flags at the date. I mean, it wasn't a long enough date or, like, really enough substance to really tell if there were any red flags or not because points for him he was asking me about myself like things that he didn't already know over like conversations we had over text he was asking me like extra things about myself he was asking me like just we were just talking about stuff and we was laughing and stuff and we had ordered the food we was talking about the food like it was just a normal it was a smooth it was a calm date so this is when stuff starts going left and starts getting a little weird. So while we're on this, or while we're like leaving this date or whatever, like he, I end up saying like, I'm not ready to go home. Like, you know, do you want to go to the city or like, cause my parents were not strict at all. I told you this before. My mom really let me do whatever as long as I let her know what I was doing. And at this time I was 18 baby. So I was in there. So I was like, you know, I wasn't finna go back to his place or nothing, but I was like, do you want to go to the city or whatever? And this whole time, he's being very respectful to me. And I don't want to say too respectful because there's no such thing as too respectful. But you, the girls know, when you go on a date with a boy who's super attracted to you, he's going to try and make some type of move on you, right? He's going to try to do the little, you know, arm around you vibe. Or he's going to do the little open the door for you vibe. Or he's going to do the little you look good, like trying to, trying to cup a little feel or trying to give you a little kiss type of thing. No. It was none of that. And I was thinking in my head, like, maybe he's shy. But he wasn't. Like, he was outgoing as hell. He was talking about himself. He was he was talking and talking and talking. And he was making me laugh, giving me jokes and stuff. So, like, it wasn't giving shy and reserved. It was just giving, like, are you scared to make a move on me, baby? Or what? He wasn't trying to kiss me. He wasn't trying to hold my hand or none of that. So, like, while the date was good on, like, a he's nice type of level... It wasn't really given on the, like, I want to jump your bones. Like, they say on Love Island. Like, he really wasn't given that he was really super attracted to me. And it's not that I wanted to, like, we don't have to kiss on a first date. We don't have to kiss on a first date. I'm not going home with you. 
we definitely not banging but it's like show me something you know what i'm saying make me want more make me want something with you like you know what i'm saying i probably would have let him kiss me if he wanted to kiss me on his date so i'm texting my friends um specifically marky and i don't remember what friend other than him that i was texting marky is my best friend and i was just like this boy is cute as hell he makes me laugh but like he's not really showing no type of like romantic interest like it's giving buddies like it's giving like i'm finna dap you up and like we just cool as hell like you really should just take me to the bar at this point like you should really just take me to boys night at this point like i'm one of the bros why are you not making a move on me i'm not used to this i'm not i might be used to getting cheated on but i'm at least used to getting you know a move made on me on a date at the bare minimum my friends are like girl he's probably just shy like this is y'all's first date relax they're like girl calm the f down like you're, they're basically like girl you a hoe like relax so i'm just like okay you know what whatever so i'm like i'm waiting as the night progresses like maybe he's gonna make a move maybe not y'all why at the end of the night he ends up dropping me back off at home i tried to lean in for a kiss first mistake first mistake not to say women cannot make the first move not to say women can't you know shoot they shot first i i y'all know me to make my shoot my shot first if i want to but this was my first mistake so i lean in y'all i'm about to give y'all a whole sensual vibe right now i lean in why did this boy go <laughs> what the fuck is that what is <laughs> what is that first of all what is funny Cause you about to make me cry right now. You about to make me cry not right now. What is, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Did you smell something? <sighs> My breath doesn't stink. <laughs> Am I ugly? So I look at him and baby, I'm not getting embarrassed two times. So I say, hmm, good night. And I go in my house and that's that. So he ends up texting me when he gets home and he's just like, um, I enjoyed this date with you. I want to go on another one type of thing. And all of me wants to be like, are you sure? Because you show curved my kiss. You curved me. So why do you want to go on another date? But I was like, you know what? Whatever. And again, y'all, I'm telling my friends about all of this. And they're like, Chessa, relax. Like, he probably was super nervous in that moment. Like, I wanted to all of those friends that i was talking to that night square up with me right now because babes y'all should have known better they're just like chessa give him one more chance if he asks you out on another date just go and see what the vibes are it might be 10 times better you say he makes you laugh you say you're hella attracted to him just do it just do it maybe he's maybe he's exactly what you need you know what i'm saying i'm used to boys that just pounce on me sometimes too much i'm used to boys who just make hella moves and they, those be the boys that end up cheating on me so i was like you know what maybe y'all are right so i give oh i almost fell we end up going on a date and we're talking and stuff and y'all literally this boy was glued to his phone like this like he's like talking to me and he's like yeah that's cool like yeah for sure like you real cool or whatever like yeah like i fuck with you like i'm feeling you like but he's in his phone the whole time so i'm like so i'm just like you know what this is really getting on my nerves but i'm not even gonna say nothing and then all of a sudden i hear da -da 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 and i'm like bro this sound is not recognizable to me at all but i'm just like it sounds like a some type of text tone like i'm thinking this is his normal i message text tone is just a different one than i got i got the bamboo text tone always have always will since they made bamboo a thing i've had it and i still have it now so i'm just hearing annoyed and i'm just like who's texting you and he's like nobody's texting me like those are just like notifications like it's nothing to worry about like you know what i'm saying and i don't want to press him because you're not my man like i'm very interested in you and y'all at the time i wish i would have kept it p i really wasn't talking to nobody else simultaneously like talking to nobody at the same time as him like yeah i was liking niggas pictures and stuff those were like nine times out of ten those are my friends or those were just random like instagram famous boys that i was following and if y'all go through my followers now or my following now i don't even do that no more i don't like no niggas pictures i don't follow no famous niggas or none of that my page is full of the girls like to this day but like yeah like i wasn't talking to no other niggas i didn't tell him that specifically until like we established that and by the time we was on this date we had established we was only talking to each other so 
yeah, at this point, I'm getting a little aggravated with the da 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 da, -da whatever sound y'all just heard. I'm getting real aggravated with it. And it's like a very distinctive sound that I've never heard before, but I'm just like, you know what? That's his text tone. So, um, the end, the night ends up ending. We, we end the night off and he ends up giving me a little peck, like on the cheek or whatever. And I'm just like, bro, like this boy doesn't like me for real. So I'm just annoyed. And like, y'all at this point, like he did ask me on another date from the first date, but like for the whole like span of this entire thing, we had been talking for probably a couple months, maybe like two months max or whatever. So I'm just like frustrated. I'm not talking to nobody else. I really do have an interest in him. We have been FaceTiming and stuff. He'd be flirting with me on FaceTime. It just be a different vibe when we're in person. I end up linking up with my bestie, Mark, who I was on the phone with earlier. I don't know if I showed y'all. If I didn't show y'all, he's my boy best friend. I don't like to say gay best friend cause it like, it's just weird, but like he's my boy best friend who is gay. And I was telling him about the date, like right after this, like I was just like hanging out with him. He was at my house and I was like, bro, the date went good. Like I like this boy, but it's just something's not right. Like he's not really making moves on me like I would expect. But like I was trying to humble myself. Like girl, just because he's not just pouncing on you or just making like a strong move on you like other dudes have doesn't mean he's not interested in you. Like why would he be picking you up? initiating dates spending money on you if he doesn't have no interest in you you know what i'm saying so i was just like girl relax but i was telling him about the date and i was like telling him about the part where like he ended up being on his phone heavily during the date and i just kept hearing da -da, da -da, and like y'all i i have mastered the sound of this freaking notification because i heard it so much throughout that night i was like da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. and he was like wait wait a minute wait a minute chesley was it literally da -da, da -da, or are you just like making any type of sound right now? And I was like, no, it was just like that. It sounded exactly like that. It was annoying as hell. Why does Mark say, Chesta, did it sound like this? And he goes on YouTube, literally goes on YouTube and he pulls up the sound and he plays it like this. Is it this? And I'm like, yeah, that's the exact same sound. Like, that is the exact sound I kept hearing throughout the span of our entire, like, freaking night. And he was just like, Chessa, that's grinder. And I was like, what's grinder? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. What's grinder? And he's like, that's a dating app for men. And I was like, what do you mean it's a dating app for men? And he was like, men of the LGBTQ community, gay men use grinder. Like, that's the app that I use to talk to dudes and stuff. Like, that's the app I use. And I was like, maybe he's just, like, are you sure it's just for men talking to men? Or is it just a dating app that, like, some gay men use? He's like, no, it's just for gay men. It's a gay, gay man's dating app. And I was like, my heart sunk, y'all. I'm like, not again. And babe, I, I told y'all about the story time about how I got cheated on by my ex who almost gave me the clap. Again, didn't give me the clap, almost did. But I don't know if I mentioned in this story time of where I had a gay ex and I found out my ex was really into dudes and I have a story time of that as well. So I have PTSD about this at this point. So I'm just like, Mark, please tell me you lying. Like, like, tell me this is a joke. He shows me the app. He shows me his own app that's logged in on his phone. And y'all, the story gets worse. Y'all aren't going to believe me, but the story gets worse. Why is he one of the profiles that he has on Grindr? <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Apparently, on this Grinder app, there's like a feature where you can wave at people. Um, there's like a message tab, and there's also like waves, which they show you a bunch of men in your area that you can message or you can wave to, and it shows you who waves to you, and it also shows people who you wave to and stuff like that. And why, y'all, do I see red face waved at Mark? They don't have a message thread. Like, that would be super crazy. And I would have been sick if there were, like, messages and pictures and all of that. And just a bunch of mess in the DMs between him and my best friend. But, like I said, this dude was in our area. Me and my best friend lived in the same area. We literally went to the same school. We hung out all the time. And at this time, there weren't too many, I guess. There weren't too many gay men in the same area. So, like, anybody attractive, my bestie is going to have on their like you know in their spectrum of the page or whatever did that even make sense like so apparently red face was on grinder and he had waved to my best friend mark so when i see this i'm like what the hell so before going and messaging red face about it i'm like what the hell like 
can you find out more like can you find his instagram because you guys i literally had this boy's instagram but it was more like a spam page that i had it wasn't like a main page with a bunch of followers like he told me he wasn't really big on social media and stuff and he had given me like a spam page that had pictures of him and stuff but it just wasn't like a big page it had like 300 followers and stuff like that so i was just like go to his profile so on his grinder profile he had a separate instagram it was like a main page that had like 2,000 followers and a bunch of pictures of him and a bunch of stuff in his bio and he had a boyfriend he had a boyfriend so I'm guessing the time that he waved at Mark was way before getting with his boyfriend either that or he's just a cheater because I can't say necessarily that he wasn't bi but in his profile it literally said gay it didn't say he was bisexual because there were some dudes that um, Mark told me about that were on Grindr that had like the um, the bisexual flag or like it would say they like the B, they put the B in LGBTQ or whatever. But his thing said strictly interested in dudes, stuff like that. And he had pictures with his boyfriend, kissing up on his boyfriend. He never told me nothing about a boyfriend. He never told me nothing about a girlfriend. He never told me nothing about anything. He told me he was single. So I'm just like, what the hell? So I screenshot this profile, this grinder profile, not even his Instagram pictures. I didn't even want to make it seem like I was stalking because I didn't want to make it seem like after seeing his grinder that I still cared. So I screenshotted his grinder and I sent it to him and he was just like, not, he said something like, not exactly like this, but he was just like, not somebody hacking me or not somebody um catfishing as me. And I was just like, you think that I'm dumb because on his grinder, he didn't have no pictures with his boyfriend, but he had a, a handle on Instagram. His Instagram handle was in the grinder information. And if you go to his Instagram, you can see all his pictures with his boyfriend. And I don't think that he thought I did all of that, which I did. And he was just like, not somebody, um, what app is that? Not somebody using my pictures for an app. And I was just like, be fucking for real. Like, why are you trying to play with me right now? And I was just like, I already seen your Instagram. Like, I already seen you kissing. Like, literally, it, it, it wasn't Photoshop, babes. It was videos. It was a highlight. It was all of that. Like, you are kissing another man. Which, no, no shame in, in your game or nothing. Like, I'm not even trying to put you down. It's just the fact that, like, you're wasting my time. If you're not into me, even if you are bi, you're in a relationship with a whole boy. You're hiding a grinder account. You're hiding another Instagram account. You're getting pissed off at me for liking niggas' pictures and shit like that. So, like, what is this even? You're not even making no moves on me for real on these dates. Like, you're wasting my time. I don't know if I'm your cover-up for your family eventually or, like, what you was planning on doing with me. But, like, what is this? So, I was just, like, um, I didn't even spaz, y'all. I didn't even say nothing crazy. I, I literally said... I remember saying, so are you bi? And he blocked me. He blocked me off of everything. Off of the little spam page, off of iMessage. I couldn't call him. I think I, I think I did make like a little text now app or whatever. And like I hit him up and I was just like, why are you blocking me? I'm not even violating you. Like I just want to know what's going on. Like were you not interested in me, in me from the start? Are you bisexual? Are you in an open relationship and you were scared to tell me? Like what is it? Like what is it? And so like I said he blocked me. He didn't answer none of those messages from my fake little text now or nothing. And I was like you know what I'm not even going to trip. Like this is already giving me the ick. I'm good off of all of this. But I did end up checking his Instagram from like my little spam like little burner page. And he was talking mashing on his on his like Instagram story, he was like, bitches are weird as Bitches think that I want them. Like I can't stand hoes and stuff like that. And mind you, like the way he was wording all of that was sounding like how my friend Mark talks. Like it was not giving, like he was beefing like as a straight man with a female. Like he was like, I hate these hoes. Like these hoes are so weird. Like bitches be weird. Like, and I was just like, what is happening right now? Like, am I a magnet for just weird niggas? Like not to say he's weird cause he's gay, but just like the wasting of my time and all of this, like we have been talking for a couple months. And like, I just feel like that's just weird. Like you're on Grindr, you got a boyfriend, babes, give it up. Cause like, you really just tried it at this point. I should really slap the shit out of you. After that, after that, I was very weary of every dude that I ever came across. Like, please. Please let this man actually genuinely like women. Please. But yeah, you guys, that's the end of the story time. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Comment other videos that you guys want to see from me. Turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when I post a video. Follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below. My new TikTok is Chessa Kiana. C 
C-H-E-S-A-K-E-A-N-A. -E I will be posting another story time. I will be filming it on Thursday, which to give y'all a reference, today is Monday. Well, this is Monday night-ish. It's about to be Tuesday, technically. So you guys can look out for another video, probably Friday or Saturday. Um, I'm trying to get more story times out to you guys because if you guys think that I don't have that many stories left, I have plenty. So yeah, and I'm still experiencing things now that are story time worthy. So just stay tuned. I love you guys so much, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Bye.